Howdy, this is Terry, and I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Don't forget to click that like button and look at the description of this video. I have all kinds of links, and on my homepage, you'll see a bunch of playlists for how I lost my weight. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. So look how we're starting this out. I bought two jicamas, and this one I took a bite of to see. And it, it's not the freshest, but it's fresher than a lot of the ones I get. When it's mostly white, it's a good one. Sometimes you get them, and it's about as brown as the outside of it. Um, but I've already cut up some, some rutabaga. Because we're going to be making something here later in the video. But today is Friday night. And uh, I want to go ahead and get some of this stuff done. So that way tomorrow when I'm doing stuff, it'll be, it'll be done. And I don't have to try to worry about it. So... I don't normally cut things in this way. I was watching Brenda Gant and she does everything like this. She uses these big old, big old chef knives and I'm just trying it her way. I don't care for it very much. I tend to like the little knives. But um, anyway, so I wanted some jicama. I like jicama on salads and stuff. And um, that'd be something fun I could have. And um, so tomorrow, what I plan on doing is my friend's dad said he's going to smoke. So I think he said a pork butt or something. He's smoking something. And um, it's on my phone. I just, I'm talking to y'all so I can't get to it. And, um, but anyway, so he's going to do that. And I told y'all we're going to be making those beans. So that's going to be later. And um, let me see. I was also thinking I wanted jicama for something else, but I don't remember why I wanted jicama, what I thought I was going to do with the jicama. There was something that I was thinking about doing with it. I don't know why I put that knife away. Hang on. There was something, there was like a particular reason why I bought the jicama. I just don't remember what it is. It's not to cook it or I don't think. I don't know. I have no idea why I bought it, but, um, I used my hatchet or my cleaver a while ago. I'll show you how I did it. I didn't know this about them. So I was watching Brenda Gant, and she said cleavers, they have this flat side. And she said that that's for the hammer, which, if you know me, I've used the hammer on my other one. But her daddy was a butcher. So I'm like, well, if anybody's going to know about a cleaver, it'd be a woman whose dad was a butcher. So, oh, excuse me, y'all. That was very rude. Um, so anyway, now what I'm going to do is since I want these to be cubed for my uh, bega salad, I'm going to go on and slice them up so that way I can cube them and I'll get back when they're all sliced up. Hey, so I was at the thrift store and I saw one of you today. That was really cool. Please don't get mad. You know my memory is this long and I don't even remember my own name. But it was really cool. I saw a lady and she's like, you're Terry. You're from YouTube. I'm like, yeah. And she's lost a lot of weight. And I am proud of you. It was nice to meet you and good job losing that weight. I know you said you've been working kind of between low carb, carnivore, keto and all that stuff. All the stuff to get where you're at. Good job. Congratulations on losing that weight. I just want to tell you. That was really cool. Just randomly raining into somebody in a store. <laughs> okay, back to doing this. Well, I got them all. I got all the rutabagas cut up, as Brenda Gant calls them. That's too big. So now I got to get them to a better size. So, <clears throat> let me see. That one might work. Let's see. All righty. You're a smallish one. So now I'm going to cube them up and... Uh, when I get done, I'll show you how many I have. I have way too many, okay? Just know. Three rutabagas is way too much, but that's all right. You know me? I'll use them for something. 
But uh, anyway, so I'm going to work on getting these chopped up, and I'll be back when I get all this done. Well, <clears throat> oh, I didn't show y'all. Hang on. Look at this big old bowl of rutabaga cubes. So, I don't know if I'll make all of it into salad. I'll probably save some of it for something else. But anyway, that's a big old thing of rutabaga cubes. Notice I'm using my fancy metal bowl and not the pink hospital puke bucket bowl. Um, I'm also cubing up this, this jicama. I know I, was, I didn't buy it for salad. I know that much. I use it on my salads, but I didn't buy it for salads. Part of me wants to think that it was something to do with the baked bean type situation, but I already did that, so I don't think that's why I bought it. I just don't remember, but um, either way, I'm going to cube it up, and I will use it with my, with my salad and, um, you know, whatever I... If I, maybe by the time I get home tomorrow evening, maybe I'll remember, but I, as far as right now, I do not know. Oh, but I am going to take, I am going to take some, my, uh, my chips. Oh, I wish I had some meat chips, but I ain't got none. So, I, um. I might have I, I could I can kind of see where I thought I was gonna buy this and make it like that um, that uh, that one chayote squash I could see me thinking I was gonna do that but I don't know I mean last time I did this like an apple it was disgusting so I just don't remember Anyway, all right, on to the next thing. I'll cube these up and put them in the refrigerator, and maybe it'll come. I might have decided I wanted to try it as a, like, do a um, potato salad thing with it. But this is super sweet. I don't think that'd go well. Anyway, all right, on with the show. So I don't know if this is why I bought it, but I thought, well, I'm going to try it anyway. I just made up a batch of my... Um, Vega salad dressing and uh, and I put it with my jicama I didn't boil the jicama it's just raw and I just want to know what I thought about it so I've got everything in here that I put in my regular Vega salad only it, except the eggs I didn't put any boiled eggs in it but that's okay that's fun I think that's why I bought these jicama, was to try it kind of like a um, pasta salad type type thing, only it's hard, unlike pasta salad. That's good. That's really good. I got to have another bite. I ain't taking this nowhere so I can stick my spoon back in it. That's fun. Yeah. I give that, I give it two thumbs up even. So, yeah, you should try that. Bega salad, or um, hicka salad. We call it hicka salad. We got hicka beans, we got hicka salads, bega salad. I say you should try this because it's, it's, it's sweet. So it kind of goes with the tangy of the mayonnaise really well. Yeah. All right. So try that. That was really fun. Okay. Bye.